want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Brilli and you're watching the Joe Blow Movie Network's Easter Egg Countdown. Today on The Countdown, The Doctor is in, with Benedict Cumberbatch giving us his rendition of Marvel's one and only enlightened cape sorcerer, Doctor Strange. We'll bend your minds with secrets and hidden homages while you take a ride through this trippy, action-packed adventure. So let's start The Countdown. What is it? GSW. Rachel McAdams plays Christine Palmer. In the comics, she's known as Night Nurse, a character who's been played by Rosario Dawson on the Netflix Marvel series. The Avengers Tower can be seen. It is fully intact, which sets the film after the first Avengers, but before Civil War. The music playing in Strange's car is Pink Floyd's Interstellar Overdrive. The band was known for their psychedelic artwork, which was an inspiration for the dimensions in Doctor Strange. What do you got for me? I've got a 35-year-old Air Force colonel, crushed his lower spine in some kind of experimental armor, mid-thoracic burst wrench. When Strange takes a call about prospective patients, one is a colonel with a crushed spine, a reference to War Machine. I have a 68-year-old female with an advanced brainstem glioma. The 68-year-old woman referenced is a nod to Sigourney Weaver's character, Alexandra, the villain on The Defenders. How about a 22-year-old female with an electronic implant in her brain to control schizophrenia struck by lightning? The other patient is a 22-year-old woman with schizophrenia and an electric implant in her brain. Some theorize this is a nod to Captain Marvel. The old man that Strange mistakes for the Ancient One looks like the comic book version of the Ancient One. Thank you, Master Mordo. Thank you, Master Hamir. The old man is named Hamir the Hermit and also happens to be Wong's father in the comics. And the cells are only programmed to put themselves back together in very specific ways. Right. What if I told you that your own body could be convinced to put itself back together in all sorts of ways? Ancient One describes spells as programs. A callback to Thor saying magic is science you don't understand yet. During his trip, Strange sees a butterfly. He touches it and everything changes. This is a literal interpretation of the butterfly effect. Uh, what's this, my mantra? The Wi-Fi password. The Wi-Fi password is a nod to the comic book story Into Shambhala. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. Mordo's staff is named after the comic character The Living Tribunal, the embodiment of the multiverse. The vaulting boots of Valtor. Let me just roll off the tongue, don't we? The vaulting boots are a nod to Strange's regular comic phrase, by the vapors of Valtor. The Book of Cagliostro is named after the sorcerer of the same name. In Marvel Comics, Cagliostro studied the Book of Sins, which has appeared on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. under the name The Darkhold. Daniel, I see they made you a master of this sanctum. Daniel Drum is the protector of the New York Sanctum. His brother Jericho would later become the character Brother Voodoo. Strange struggles against his cloak to grab an axe. In the comics, axes are Strange's signature physical weapon. Strange using his astral form to guide Christine is a direct recreation from the comic story, The Oath. A Stan Lee cameo. <laughs> that is hilarious. Lee is reading Doors of Perception by Aldous Huxley, a book about using psychotropic drugs to reach higher planes of existence. Choose your weapon wisely. The weapon Wong selects is the Wand of Watoom, an iconic weapon that features heavily in Marvel Comics. The staff of one is seen wielded by Tinu Manoru. Her daughter Nico is a member of the team, the Runaways. The appearance of the Dark Dimension is a recreation of Steve Ditko's iconic artwork of the fictional world from the classic Strange comics. The uncredited actor voicing Dormammu is actually Benedict Cumberbatch. Caecilius and his followers are turned into ashen beings with red cyclops eyes. This is a nod to the Marvel Comics creatures called the Mindless Ones.
the Eye of Agamotto is revealed to be an Infinity Stone. Worthy inclusion. Yeah. The mid-credit sequence featuring Thor is a tie to Ragnarok. Tea? I don't drink tea. Strange is seen wearing gloves in the scene like his comic book costume. Mordo's turn to evil mimics his role as a villain in Marvel Comics. And that's all for this installment of the Joe Blow Movie Network Easter Egg Countdown. If you caught any Easter eggs we didn't, make sure to leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. For the Joe Blow Movie Network, I'm Tom Barilli.